ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് ഇസ് എൽ എം ഫൈവ് സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് പി എൽ എൽ ഐ സി ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ പിൻ നോട്ട് ഓഫ് എൽ എം ഫൈവ് സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് പി എൽ എൽ ഐ സി ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ഫോർട്ടീൻ പിൻ ഐ സി ബിഫോർ വി ഗോയിങ് ടു ദ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് പി എൽ എൽ വി ക്യാൻ സി ദ ബ്ലോക്ക് ഡയഗ്രാം റെപ്രസെൻറ്റേഷൻ ഓഫ് പി എൽ എൽ ഓർ ഐ സി എൽ എം ഫൈവ് സിക്സ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് ദീസ് ആർ ദ ഫംഗ്ഷണൽ ബ്ലോക്ക്സ് ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ പി എൽ എൽ ഐ സി ഫേസ് ഡിറ്റക്ടർ ആംബ്ലിഫയർ വിത്ത് ലോ പാസ് ഫിൽട്ടർ ആൻഡ് വി സി ഒ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ത്രീ ഫംഗ്ഷണൽ യൂണിറ്റ്സ് ഓർ മേജർ ഫംഗ്ഷണൽ യൂണിറ്റ്സ് ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ പി എൽ എൽ ആൻഡ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഈസ് ഫേസ് ഡിറ്റക്ടർ ആൻഡ് ഫേസ് ഡിറ്റക്ടർ ഹാസ് ടു ഇൻപുട്സ് and one is from directly we are giving providing input signal and external signal and the another one input is the vco output vco output is the input to the face detector and the external input and the function of face detector means face detector has got two inputs with different frequencies and it produces a dc output voltage depending upon the phase difference phase detector has external input and the vca output signal with these two signals have different frequencies depending upon these phase frequency difference the phase detector will produce a dc output voltage and the second one is the low pass filter with amplifier section why we are using low pass filter low pass filter is always allows to pass low frequency signal here in this phase detector circuit phase detector will produce some frequencies and different frequencies low pass filter allows to pass different frequencies that is a function of low pass filter and the third one is the vco signal vco unit vco which produces a signal with a particular frequency depending on the amount of input voltage applied that means input voltage will decide the frequency of output signal in this vco unit the input voltage to the vco which will decide the output frequency of the signal and the pll can operate in three modes that is free running mode capture mode and our lock mode free running capture and lock mode the pll operates in the free running mode means there is no input signal in the pl to the phase detector that is free running mode there is no input signal to the phase detector that is called a p free running mode and if you are providing some input signal that is capture mode that means capture mode means some input signal is applied to the phase detector and what is the process behind this capture mode means vco starts to change the output frequency output signal frequency that means try to become equal to the input signal vco starts to change the output signal frequency and tries to become equal to the input signal that is the capture mode and lock mode lock mode means output signal frequency of vco becomes equal to the input signal frequency is called lock mode free running mode means there is no input signal to the phase detector that is free running mode and capture mode means vco starts to change the output signal frequency and tries to become equal to the input signal that is capture mode and the lock mode means the output signal frequency of vco becomes equal to the input signal frequency is called lock mode and these are some applications of pll ic 565 565 and first one is the frequency multiplication or division am demodulation fm demodulation and frequency synthesizer the first one is frequency multiplication or division okay these are the functional blocks inside the frequency multiplication or division circuit first one is the phase comparator or phase detector and the second one low pass filter and error amplifier third stage is vco and divided by n network here the working is like this 
A divided by N network or frequency divider is inserted between the VCO and the phase detector. Here you can see a divided by N network which is inserted between the VCO and the phase detector. When the PLL is in locked condition, the output of the frequency divider network is the same as the input frequency Fi. So, the VCO actually provides the multiple of the input frequency. The desired multiplication factor is achieved by inserting suitable divided by N network. Where N is an integer, thus in locked condition F0 is equal to N into Fi. As an example, a divided by 5 network can be inserted to achieve the frequency 5 into F5, Fi divided by 5 network which will give 5 into Fi that is 5 times the input frequency. The frequency multiplication can also be obtained by the operating the PLN in harmonic locking mode for input signals which are rich in harmonics such as a square wave then the VCO can get directly locked on to the end harmonic of the input signal without the use of a frequency divider network. The value of n is normally limited to 10 since the amplitude of higher order harmonics decreases as the order increases. Therefore, effective locking may become difficult to achieve. This is the working of frequency multiplication division circuit. And the second one is the AM demodulation. Here the block diagram representation which give the functional units phase shift 90 degree, multiplier, low pass filter and phase local loop. Here the PLL can be used as an AM detector for demodulating the amplitude modulated signal. And the PLL is locked to the carrier frequency of amplitude modulated signal. The VCO output of the PLL which has the same frequency value as the carrier but unmodulated is applied as one input to the multiplier. It is to be recalled that under locked condition the VCO output signal of PLL is 90 degree out of phase with the input signal. Hence the AM input signal is phase shifted by 90 degree before being applied to the multiplier. So you can see phase shift 90 degree in the first section. The two signals supplied to the multiplier namely the amplitude modulated signal and the carrier signal generated in the PLL are now in phase. The output of the multiplier is then passed through the low pass filter for the removal of the high frequency components. The average value of the output V0 of T is thus directly proportional to the amplitude of the input signal. This AM detector exhibits a high degree of selectivity due to the fact that the PLL responds selectively to the carrier frequencies which are very close to the VCO output. Due to the coherent detection, higher degree of noise immunity is also achieved. This is the working of AM demodulation. And the next one is the FM demodulation. FM demodulation, you can see the block diagram which come, uh, consists of PC, phase comparator or phase detector, amplifier section and again VCO, phase comparator, amplifier with the filter and VCO. And here you can see FM detection which will give this uh, the output VCO of T which will give constant times the modulated signal that means after analyzing the circuit we will get vc of t that is a control voltage to the vco is constant times the modulating signal that means this gives the modulating signal voltage applied to the fm carrier at the transmitter the control voltage of vco is a linear function of the instantaneous frequency deviation this is fm modulated signal and here if PLL is locked to FM signal, the VCO tracks the instantaneous frequency of the input signal, the filtered error voltage which controls the VCO and maintains lock with the input signal is the demodulated FM output. 
after analyzing you will get the cons the vco of t the vco input voltage which is constant times the modulated signal and the last one is the frequency synthesizer circuit frequency synthesizer produces a large number of precise frequencies which are derived from a single reference source of frequency such as a stable crystal controlled oscillator this is the block diagram of frequency synthesizer the first one is the master oscillator and the reference counter phase detector low pass filter vco and divided by n network and a temperature controlled crystal oscillator provides the stable reference frequency fr and the second input signal to phase detector is provided by the output of vco a divided by n counter is inserted in the loop as shown in the figure here you can see fd is equal to f0 by n where f0 is the output frequency of v0 vco in locked condition fr is equal to fd in locked condition you can see the fd is the vco output frequency and fr is the reference frequency from reference counter in the locked condition fr is equal to fd therefore the output frequency f0 as observed at the output of vco is an integral multiple of the reference frequency fr or f0 is equal to n into fr f0 is equal to n into fr the divided by n counter is realized with a programmable divider and therefore it is possible to achieve multiples of the reference frequency the frequency synthesizing can also be obtained by harmonic locking in which the locking is achieved with a, the harmonic of the reference signal then the vco frequency is set to the multiple of the input reference frequency the vco then locks onto the desired harmonic of the input frequency the drawback of this method of frequency synthesizing is that the lock range reduces when successively higher and weaker harmonics are used for locking this is a frequency synthesizer working this is the explanation and this is one example for frequency synthesizing suppose the reference signal is 100 kilohertz and the divider can be preset to any value between 1 and 100 the error signal produced by the comparator will only be zero then the output of the divider is also 100 kilohertz for this to be the case the vco must run at a frequency which is 100 kilohertz into the divider counter value thus it will produce an output of 100 kilohertz for a count of 1 200 kilohertz for a count of 2 and 1 megahertz for a count of 10 and so on this is an example thank you